Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Saturday, January 4th, 2025. We've had two more X flares in the last 24 hours. An X1.1. We also had a X1.8. And three M class flares. An M7.7. An M1.5. An M5.8. And two C flares. A C9.7 and a C9.1. Did impact the Earth's magnetic field today, January 4th at 4.45 Universal Time. The impact caused approximately six hours of a minor G1 class magnetic storming. Bright auroras were mainly confirmed or confined within the Arctic or, um, Circle. Aurora were, alerts were sent, but you can see that Minnesota is right on the edge of where it was going. Let me play this for you. So you can see it was confined to the Arctic Circle as it goes through here. But Minnesota, if they got up early enough late last night, they might have been able to see some green hues in the sky. Might have been seeing some northern lights. Yeah, pretty cool. AR 3947 is the sunspot that is currently coming around the solar disk. This is the one that produced the uh, X-class flare. It'll probably produce more and as it comes around. Yeah, we'll have some more Earth-facing uh, chances of flares impacting the Earth. Yeah, I was trying to find more information about this sunspot area. AR-3947. All the C and M-class flares have been from this location. And it's slowly evolving, growing in size. And the sunspot area has actually had three X-class flares coming from it. Uh, let's see, we got also an X-1.2, which happened yesterday. That's it right there, X. And then today, the uh, 1.1. And the largest one being a 1.8. They all came from the same sunspot area. So in the last 24 hours, it has evolved to gain more intermediate spots and grew overall of an aerial coverage, suggesting it will continue producing powerful flares and signaling the possibility of Earth-directed CMEs. We just have to keep an eye on it as it rotates more earth directed it doesn't look like the solar wind prediction has been updated for these latest solar flares here you can see um, the time for today for impacting of earth let me come down here and we'll push play and you can watch it right there yeah they don't have the latest on uh, the last two cmes um, on this um, solar wind prediction. Yeah, maybe they'll have it later um, this afternoon or maybe tomorrow. But yeah, see they got them for the third when they came off on the third, but not today for the fourth. And then from NASA comes the movie theater image. Now this goes back um, just the last 24 hours. And you can see the uh, ejection of the CMEs coming up. Yeah. As you know, CMEs can create earthquakes here on Earth. If a fault line is ready to go off, um, yeah, it could trigger an event. It also creates adverse weather, like, yeah, we don't have enough coming. And it also affects people's health. So right now, this isn't too bad. Yeah, it can cause stress and high blood pressure, um, anxiety, all kinds of bad stuff. I've, I've covered that before. But anyways, um, that's the latest. We'll just have to keep an eye on this sunspot area and always be prepared. So if you're feeling a little stressed out, um, yeah, sometimes people have road rage. Yeah, it, this could be why. So put, put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.